with Eat, Run, Plan, Repeat. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new, thank you for stopping by. As you can tell from the title, today I'm talking about my Hobonichi pen search. Since purchasing my Hobonichi over a month ago, I've been on the search for the perfect pen and I think I finally found it, but I thought I would share with you guys my journey to get to that pen. Just in case you happen to be going through the same thing and if you're looking, maybe I can introduce something new to you and maybe you'll like one of these pens more than I did. So I'm gonna move these aside open up my Hobonichi and show you my pen sample page. Part of the reason I decided to get a Hobonichi was that I really wanted to use my fountain pens. I was using the Passion Planner before this and I could use my pens in it, but sometimes they would bleed through if I left my pen in one spot for a little bit too long. And I know that Hobonichi is supposed to have good paper that can absorb the ink color, so I wanted to try it out. That is one of the reasons why I got a Hobonichi. So when it arrived, I was really excited to use my favorite fountain pen. This is my favorite fountain pen. It's the Pilot Kakuno, an extra fine. And this is actually one of the ink cartridges that came with it, but I just rinsed it out and fill it with my own ink after, which is Noodler's Heart of Darkness. So I kind of went in order. You can see here, the first line is the Pilot Kakuno. And I loved this pen, but it felt a little bit too scratchy for me. Not to mention that it is a fountain pen and it did have some smearing, but because it is so fine, the smearing was really minimal and I didn't really mind it. But I, for some reason, I just did not like the way this pen felt on the paper. So I decided to try and use the fountain pen that I was using in my Passion Planner which is the Platinum Preppy and Extra Fine. This is a very inexpensive fountain pen. And again, with this one too, I would just refill the little ink cartridge that came with it with my own ink, which is Heart of Darkness. And I loved this pen in here. I don't know if you can see, you know what? Let me zoom you guys in so you can see better. So this pen wrote like butter on this paper. I absolutely loved it, but because it did let out a little bit more ink, it smeared a whole lot easier. Not only that, a lot of times I flip back and forth between the pages in this book, mainly between my daily pages and my weekly pages. And I mean constantly, like I'll write something in my weekly pages and then I'll flip over to my daily pages. So the ink was transferring onto the opposite page whenever I would do that. And it just started to make my pages look a little bit sloppy. Another issue I had is that I use a ruler and whenever I would use the ruler and draw the line and then pull the ruler away, a lot of times it would grab some of the wet ink that was still resting on top of the paper and drag it with the ruler. So that was driving me nuts. And like most planner addicts that sent me down the perfect pen rabbit hole, I was watching videos, I was looking on Instagram, trying to see what everyone used, and I came across this pen. This is the Uniball Signo RTI in 3.8 black ink. This gel pen is smooth and consistent and it made me happy for about a week, but then I kept noticing smudging once again. It wasn't as bad as with the fountain pens, but it was bad enough to start making my pages look a little bit sloppy and I was finding myself whiting out little spots on my paper all the time because I can't stand how it looks when I have extra smudges around my paper. One of the things I love about Amazon is that you can return something if you don't like it. So. I was about to return the pack to Amazon, but my husband asked if he could give them a try and I was like, sure, but he hates extra fine or even fine pens. He likes a broader pen and I was really surprised when he fell in love with this pen. So because he's someone that doesn't even like fine pens, I thought I should give it another try because surely if he likes it, I should probably like it too. So I went ahead and tried using it again. After a few weeks with this pen, I still kept noticing that there were smudges even when I would give it a little bit of extra time to dry. And a lot of people suggested using an ink blotter, but I just don't have the patience for that, especially in my planning. With journaling, I can see doing that, but with planning, I'm usually just trying to quickly jot things down and I don't wanna take that extra step to blot it dry. 
And then after talking to my husband, he kind of mentioned that he notices it smears a little bit in his moleskine too. So that's when I decided, okay, I there's gotta be another pen out there. So I'm going to try something else again. And that's when I decided to give the actual Hobonichi pen a try again. So that is, these three right here are the Hobonichi pen. At first, I hated this pen. When I first got it along with my Hobonichi, I wrote with it like one line and immediately dismissed it because I felt like I couldn't control it. It was just slipping all over the page and I didn't even give it a chance after that. This time I decided to try and take it a little slower when writing this pen and learning to work with it a little more because I figured they made this pen for this paper. It must work well. I've only been using it for a few days, but I do feel like I found pen piece. I learned how to kind of write with it a little bit better. I actually like the way my writing looks a little bit cleaner and crisper with it and there is no smearing. I haven't had any smearing yet. I also like how the pen feels in my hand. This pen was a little bit thin for me, a little bit narrow, but this barrel fits in my hand perfectly. So even though I don't use all the colors really, um, I ordered more just the other day and they're supposed to get here tomorrow, but I ordered all black because I figured I'll just flip through them and keep them all in one pen since I like the size of the barrel. Another reason why I like this pen is that it's perfect for my Stalogies. I use two of them. I use one for journaling and one as a notebook. And one of the things about that notebook is the grid lines are a lot lighter than on the Hobonichi. And when you write with a dark pen on one side and then you flip the page over, sometimes it's hard to see the grid lines because your pen does a lot of ghosting and that doesn't happen with this and the feel. I know this is so weird and random, but I love the feel of the pen in this planner. When you kind of rub your hands over it, it almost feels like braille or something. I'm a really tactile person, so little things like that make me happy. In addition to this pen, I am using this Kakuno pen. It's an extra fine as well. And I like to use this pink ink in it that I got from a local pen store. And as with the other fountain pens, it smears, but I only use this to mark my daughter's stuff, which is usually her work schedule, her school schedule, her cheer schedule, or anything else that I have going on with her. So I don't use it that much, which gives me the chance to be a little more patient with letting it dry. But I do smear with it sometimes too. So when I found out that the Signo comes in pink. I ordered one of those and I was so happy because I thought, okay, that's the answer to my problems right there. But as you can see, the two pinks are very different and this pink is just way too bright for me. I like this pink, which is actually more of a rosy color, not really pink. So since this one smears anyway, I decided not to use this one. My daughter snatched it up though. And like I said, because I barely barely write with it, I'm gonna just go ahead and keep using my fountain pen for that. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear what your favorite pens are in your Hobonichi. I'm always willing to try new things. So if you want, leave it down in the comment area below and I might give those a try. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.